game number one. Keep in mind, guys, it is a best of five, so the first team to win three games will take it. Oh, yeah. We are going to start this one off, and Sir Ket is instantly going to be taken away. So Sir Ket off the top is... Uh Normally, we'd say this is a very North American situation, but it's gone the way of Europe as well. Everybody seems to be afraid of this circuit. And Sylvanas, we haven't seen Sylvanas. Sylvanas has, banned, has been banned in virtually every single qualifier match thus far. Yeah, minus one. I just yep. heard the stat at the end of the game. Yeah. It was, uh, he was played in, or he's been banned in every game minus one, and he lost that game, which makes sense. Uh, Medusa is going to get taken out as well as Hunbats. Hunbats, so far, uh, he's just been a beast. Uh, he's my favorite jungler to watch. I yeah. think he has the most outplay potential, uh, and he really just brings so much to the team. I have been preaching this character since he was known as Sun Wukong, and people have, sa have said different things about him, but I think now the game has matured and the players have come to the point where they understand that fear no evil just ruins all of your plans. Yep. Athena's going to get picked up here, and then option over to Legion. They're going to go ahead and grab Thor and Isis. So to see who will accompany Athena here. That's a very interesting, interesting situation, Scott. Thor and Isis, both of their, both of two main sources of their damage. Isis is wing gust. I, I'm very glad the camera's not watching me do this <laughs> wing gust motion. But wing gust and Berserker's barrage, canceled by Taunt. Yeah, just uh, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thor's Thor's on the table as well, or uh, Thor Thanatos is on yeah. the table as well. Uh, I would love to see a Poseidon get picked up. I think Poseidon mixed with Athena is some of the strongest mid-harpy contention you can really have in this game. Yeah, Taunt into Kraken is one of the better, just just the, the wombo combo, incredible stuff right there. Bologna going to be picked up. No real surprise there. Uh, we've seen Bologna hasn't been picked up by everybody's snap pick. She does require a certain level of finesse mm -hmm. to be used correctly, but uh, obviously the solo laner Salt Machine for return is a little bit confident as they pick up that Bologna, and that's that. In all female teams so far for team return. Kiki would be proud. Yeah, K Kiki's probably loving this. He's probably like, <laughs> oh, if only Isis was there. Uh, Geb will get locked in here for Legion as well. The Geb shield's always going to be good. Uh, Geb's going to really make his impact after around the 20-minute mark. But even still, throughout mm -hmm. the entire game, just with Stone Shield alone, he can change the pace of a game instantly. Stone Shield, so, so powerful. The third round bands are co have come out. No Shibalaki. And no Sobek, uh, one of the scarier guardians when it comes to in lane. Oh, yeah. Uh, on her gets picked up. An amazing hunter uh, throughout any game. He's just so good. Mm. Desert Fury, I, I always love seeing it, even at the professional level, because it makes me feel better about myself, is when they try to <laughs> body block Desert Fury, and they can, and I'm like, yes, <laughs> not just me. <laughs> just looks like a bunch of basic attacks, so it's tough to really uh, decide what you want to do there. Two picks going the way of a return on the nice. bottom will round them out. There's that Pasadi we're looking for, Scott. So oh, yeah. between Athena, Pasadi combo, and Bastet's ability to jump over the wall, mid Harpy should be very, very scary for <sighs> Legion to dance over, and Uller is going to be the hunter for Team Return. I, I, I mean, look at Team Return. How in the world is Legion even going to try to be able to battle for these mid Harpies at, at, at the six-minute mark? I mean, yeah, Thor's super strong mm -hmm. early on, but... So is Bastet, and Thor can only do so much. He's going to have to have perfect ultimates to come dunking down, as well as good synergy with Isis. But I, I, it's going to be really, really tough. And uh, to round it out here is going to be Ooh. Legion grabbing Aphrodite. And I, li I like the Afro pick. I've seen a little bit of well played. Uh, well played does have a very good Aphrodite, so that's going to work just well. That's going to work very well for that team. Uh, but you're right on the mid harpies. Uh, I, I, Athena, I, Poseidon. It's just. It will be uphill for Legion to grab them. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder what Legion's going to have to do to actually battle against that dot. Uh, you're you're going to look for you're going to look for silences out of the ISIS. You're going to look for long range spirit balls to sort of snipe those away. And I mean, maybe even having on her rotate from the dual lane. It's not something we see often, but it can happen. Uh, that'll of course drag Uller out as well. But why don't we drag into the game ourselves? And here we are, right here on the Mount of Olympus. Well, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the game number one of the best of five relegations. We have Team Legion taking on Team Return. We are underway here. Uh, really going into this one, Dot, I, I really want everyone's focus to kind of be right on this Poseidon. I, I, I think yeah. he's gonna. he has to have a huge impact on this game for this team to come out on top with this. Poseidon is definitely going to be a large part of it, especially, as you mentioned earlier, with the Athena help. There's just no world in which an Athena taunt into a Kraken doesn't do what it's supposed to. 
Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's really it's just a fail safe. So yeah. tier one boots coming out for Bastet as well as the Bomba's mask across the way. Same thing with Thor. And then Mark of the Vanguard for the Gab as a Watcher's Gift comes out for the Athena. Five people. On the right-hand side of the map, all five members of Team Return here uh, looking to catch out the solo lane ward. Yep. That's what they were doing. Had Aphrodite really been a little bit late to ward where she has down there by uh, on the lower right-hand side of your minimap, if Aphrodite was a little late, a little slow, that entire team of Team Return would have caught her out and gotten first blood right away. Doesn't go that way, but that's the thought process. I'm actually kind of surprised that we're not seeing Team Return invade since it isn't Aphrodite. Uh, the, the main mm -hmm. reason why mages aren't played in the solo lane is because they can't start off with Hand of the Gods, so it's pretty much a guaranteed blue buff. Yeah, very interesting uh, decision not to, of course, on the side of Team Return. You've got the Bologna. And you've got the uh, the Bastet, and neither of which have the heavy hammer. Granted, well, it's been nerfed a little bit, but uh, here is the hold late that, invade. Hold that. The the push is going to come up here. There we Will go. we see him? Mm -hmm. And they're just they're going to just give this up fully. They they don't want to contest this at all. Bastet taking uh, a lot of damage there, but the hand of the gods will come down. The blue buff will be dropped, and now we will watch as Team Return enters into the lane. Yeah, it's actually a. Uh, we, we should have noticed that from the get-go. They took the blue instead of the speed, uh, meaning that they're just going to go up and take the other blue. That does two things. That one, it secures the blue for this, their own solo laner, but also makes sure that if they invade, they can't get counter-invaded and have their blue taken away because it's just not there. Taking a look at the mid lane here, this is going to be a Duro versus Clow. Dot, there's a there's a lot of history with Clow <laughs> as well. Uh, as we swing into the duo lane side of things, Geb, very, very low as Uller will be trying to whittle him down. Yeah, Payne of Yon on this Geb is a very, very established player. Uh, tends to be a little bit aggressive, as you can see. He has the Mark of the Vanguard, so he'll be able to take a couple of more shots from those archers and those melee minions, but still not something you want to wade in. So sitting at about 45% HP is the Geb right now, and honestly, a good Uller combo could stomp him down. Well, looking for it there, not trying to aggress at all. Way too many, way too many archers. On the right side, though, we're gonna see the shield bash come in. I can't, I can't wait for the change to happen to Bologna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that's it currently in PTS. It's so nice. And because of this, you see, Bologna's all by herself. Uh, Bastet has rotated over, and with the help of Poseidon, has picked up that speed buff. So no real experience lost there. Not a lot of time left with that buff standing up. No real cost for the invade. Yep. And, and Thor actually still here, to right left side of things though. Taunt's gonna come out, and now she's gonna be able to dash away. Uller stays alive as well. They were trying to be aggressive early on, but they were unable to commit. 45 seconds until the first round of mid Harpies will come up. Harpies is how you say that, not Harmies. <laughs> Bastet rotated out a little bit. Uh, she's gonna rotate back into the mid lane. It looked like they thought about messing with Legion over there in the dual lane, but instead decided uh, not to. Interesting point you mentioned about those harpies, though. Uh, as we see the the paws come out, uh, interesting point about those mid harpies. It will be very it'll be very up to Isis to stop the domination of these mid harpies by Legion. Yep. So let me ask you the question here, as we Shoot. are into a game pause. Thor stayed in lane all the way. I think it's like two minutes and. 15 seconds on the game clock right now instead of getting that early rotation. Is that just because he missed out on the blue experience and he wasn't level two and he's just trying to catch up by leeching experience? That's exactly it, Scott. He wants to one, he wants to be able to keep the, the lane presence and keep his experience presence, keep himself relevant. And also he wants to help out Whoa, Aphrodite. Ooh, that's a Kraken. Those are cats as well. That's Gold a Fury. Goal. Um, this is this is free. That's Re return takes the free. Re return. Return just took a gold for you at two fifty five. Now I haven't seen cheese like this since Lass's coach against <laughs> that man. Now there's something. There's there's a ranked there's a ranked anecdote. Uh, at the top level, Clow is a top level player, but his sort of legacy is that he's very very good when he cares, uh, and also he has very aggressive and risky calls. Cloud calls is what they call them. That right there is a cloud call, which shows you that it's not always a negative to be risky and aggressive. Goes ahead, takes it. There's no vision. That gets the gold fury, but now mid camp's under contention. Here's the Athena ult. Yep. But that's, a, that, that's the best part about Gap. All he has to do is hit his knockup and then hands at three minutes, and he'll be able to always take those harpies. We'll see what we're talking about, Scott, how easy it would be for return to get these mid harpies. 
their their abilities and mechanics will make it easy. But if you're just not there, you just can't get them. A little bit late to the mid mid harpy party, get picks it up. Absolutely no problem because yeah, you, the Athena ult is coming in. I see it. I'll be here first. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but look at <laughs> Legion has to have pressed T by now and seen these charts and just yeah. been like, really? There's no way. <laughs> and with how these players are with the ranked atmosphere, yeah. everyone knows in ranked, oh, first Gold Fury, whatever, F6 at 10, screw it. <laughs> right? Like, that. that's how it is. I mean, yes and no, this is a very different situation here in competitive, obviously. Uh, these players have played together week in, week out. All Both of these teams have played six out of the seven weeks in the Challenger Cup. Um, Team return, a consistent number three team. One week they went higher, one week they went lower, but they've always really sat around this number three. So, uh, yeah, they're all ranked players, but they also have a lot of experience playing together as a team unit. Desert Fury used right there. Uller's going to try to aggress. Oh, he actually hit that axe stun. Does he have the follow-up? The Peller will slow him down a bit. And he's just going to poke him out there. But you can see he wants to aggress. And here comes an invade, Dot. Right hand side of the map. Looks like uh, Pain Beyond wanted to think about it, but as soon as Bologna shows up, really gonna, you know, they got he'll, that too. he'll walk out. Yeah. They got that. Aphrodite without another blue buff there. She does have sprint too, so she is gonna stay relatively safe in this lane, but she she definitely wants that blue buff just so she can get all the farm. Aphrodite, Aphrodite will not have a huge issue without the blue buff, but as you said, it'll just be so much easier uh, for mm -hmm. her, obviously, as a mage to really rock that blue buff. One of the plays I really liked in the duo lane, as soon as Desert Fury was used to clear the wave, uh, Uller knew that there was no CC immunity on the side of on her, so went right in, right for that axe stun. Couldn't really f s seal the deal, but that's why he jumped in, because Desert Fury is used as a beads a lot of the time in late game for on her. So now your your good buddy is Kret. Now I'm sure Kret has given you the workaround of the difference between Dev Gloves and Heart Seeker. Yep. What side of the fence are you sitting on? Uh, it all depends on your confidence level, Scott. Dev's Gloves will give you more damage overall in the late game, uh, but Heart Seeker gives you the ability to snowball. It also doesn't give you early game lifesteal. So if you're going to be confident and you're going to rush in there and use that snowball to the best of your ability, Heart Seeker all the way. If you want to play a little more calculated and a little more close to the chest, Devo Gloves is going to be safer. And it also allows you to look at that early Gold Fury all by yourself but as a hunter. But Dev Gloves also, now since it takes 75 stacks, it actually is what, like an extra two to three minutes to farm that up, yes, assuming is. all things go according to plan. So mm -hmm. you really put yourself at risk almost getting that as well, right? Uh, yes and no. I mean, the same risk that you use to, for the extra time is the risk of losing your stacks when you die as Heart Seeker. So it's about, it's about even just depends on how you want to look at that risk. Are you aggressive? Can you use Two it? Two-man taunt right as well, aggressive. followed by the Kraken, cracking off the mark. Gab going to get poked out here as he gets forced all the way out. Toctonic Rift as well will stop Uller from going forward, but the left Harpies are still up, and we will be watching as Team Return will take those as well. Yeah, that's a win. It doesn't matter if it, if the ultimate's gonna come out and deal damage and force you off the mid Harpies there, or someplace else, the result was the same. We ulted them on the tower, no kills, but we get the Harpies. That's a win, clean and clear, no problem. Return leading this contest, 2,300 gold. We're only seven minutes in. Yeah, the, the, the big stat here in Smite is always 2,600 experience at seven minutes. That is that is a number we are not used to seeing yeah. here in the booth at seven minutes and 30 seconds. Whew. Yeah, I mean, Return has been very, very efficient. Going back to the way they cleared their blue buff and invaded the blue, and then immediately mid-rotated for speed, which is not something we normally see. And then again, mid-rotating for those back harpies. Uh, uh, Clow is making sure that he is a part of all of these camps, which is really going to help him stay ahead. Uller now just trying to freeze the lane, waiting to see if Panda Cat will actually step up, looking for it. And he's just trying to, he was trying to bait out the jump there. It's very, very smart mental game in the lane. It's the audio cue, Scott. When you <laughs> hear the, my axe, or whatever he says. The you, hunt is uh, on. Yeah, you immediately, oh no. Yeah. Yep, <laughs> oh yep, yep. no. Even when you're turned around, we were talking about to Jeff Hinla during the spring finals, and I forget what audio cue it was, but he said 100%. It's so important to listen to sound in Smite, and that's one of the larger things. When you hear those axes come out, you know that a stun is on the way or could be on the way, and that'll change your place. It's funny because I never thought it was important at all until Adonis did his video on it, and I was like, oh, yep. all right. Well, the rotation coming out of on here, here. Here's a crack, and look at Kev just get destroyed. Desert 
Fury is going to be there as well. That's Isis good. is there. Eagles rally on the backside, though. Will Bologna continue to push forward? Her team has given up, and she is. But look how low Isis is. He's still fine. He has no problem at all. The birds are going to miss as well. Jump away. Disengage is good. Legion still trying to push forward here as the Athena will be ulting here onto Pain to Beyond, and that will send Legion back. Cloud's going to play that one a little bit. I, I, I like this sort of calculated aggression coming out from return. You see this Bologna get very feisty, want to chase a kill, and then at the last possible minute, realize he's got to turn around. He could Speaking be in trouble. turnarounds, here comes Thor. Can he turn Look this at those off body by blocks. Beautiful stun. The blocks are good, but the birds go through players. Well played now trying to save his own Thor. Can DJ Pernicus survive with that type of healing? Oof. Yes, he can. Dude, those birds. I mean, look at this. She went Shoes of the Magi yep. as well. Yep. Uh, so not going with the CDR build at here. Um, but right side, Harpies are up. The, uh, Return really can't make a play on this. They're going to give this up. But I wonder what Aphrodite is going to do next, right? I mean, we see we see the power boots come out on, like, right, right, DM right. Brandon, but we also saw him be dead for 16 minutes. <laughs> 27, yeah. yes, I believe. Uh, I was up there. Uh, Basically, it's looking at it's looking at the Magi boots for a lot of the, the initial uh, power. Sometimes we even see Doomorb come out in this position. I would be a little surprised to see Doomorb come out after the boots. So here, my guess would be something... Uh, I would expect to see a breastplate of Valor, especially considering that the jungler Look at this. and the opponent in lane is physical. Taunt's going to hit as well. Spirit Ball is going to be off the mark. Followed up here. The cats are going to be down. Will Geb survive this? The answer is no. Cataclysm not enough. Instantly Thor. out of this one. Thor in the sky comes crashing down. Does he have the help? Double tap's going to hit. Berserker Barrage is there as well. Hits one. Still looking at Poseidon in the middle. Athena's here to try to turn this around. In comes an axe done for Muller. Look at the health. Just get depleted. And down he goes. But the battle still continues throws the whirlpool at his feet to make sure he's still alive return is up four to two and they are looking damn good in these team fights yeah, turn it around they did legion actually started and wanted that fight uh, in came dj pernicus and classic dj pernicus in the sense that he nailed that thor combo oh yeah perfectly that's what we expect out of dj but unfortunately for him and his team return came right around and did everything they need to do to turn that gank into a three for one in their direction Oh, Aphrodite now looking straight at the Bologna as she's just healing up all of these things, switching stances. And, you know, that that's the one thing that's fun about playing a Bologna when you're Aphrodite is just using back off. Yeah. You bait him into the hammer, <laughs> and then you're like, hey, by the way, you're not finishing that. Yeah, and that's always it, it, that's like the worst feeling is Bologna, too, is when you get stopped in the middle of that hammer. Yeah, it's one of the bigger one of the bigger things you could sort of stop or interrupt. It feels a lot like and and it feels like rising jaguar from Shimalaki mm -hmm. when you get silence because it's sweet. I've got this giant dash or sweet. I have this giant a. Oh, I don't get to use it. Ah, <laughs> just was, a little bit. Yeah, too she, late. she was just a little slow right there. But you can see the idea is right there. Yep. Uh, that's what happens when you're on the backside though, and she had to retreat. There was a. She didn't want to fight him out there. And there. Eagles Rally comes down, still pushing forward. Undying Love's already going to be used. He's going to try to dunk this out. And look at that hammer come crashing down. Back off was still on the cooldown. Great play by this solo lane Bologna. Smart stuff. I like the use of the active. It's not quite at rank three yet, which will stop the healing. But it's at rank two. Slows her down just enough. Clouds look all the way going to miss. But Aduro's still in a bunch of trouble. The dot is good, and so is the slow. Wiggles the bay, gets the kill. But DJ Pernicus makes him pay with the ult and a spin to win. Yep, he's going to go ahead and rotate over to the right side. He might go to aggress on this Bologna, but he, he really doesn't want to fight this Bologna, I don't <laughs> think. Not at this point, even though she's low. I mean, he has a three-level disadvantage in yeah. here. You, can, you can't fight Bologna at three levels behind. You have a hard enough time fighting her even. <laughs> Taking a look at Bologna's build, not defensive. So nothing really to be scared in that direction. And as we see on the side of Aphrodite, I was sort of wrong. <laughs> All right. So she doesn't go the Breastplate of Valor. Instead, we see a Chronos Pendant still there for the CDR. As you mentioned, she went Magi's not Boots, not CDR Boots. But this is a much more offensive or, or less defensive Aphrodite than I would have expected. Well, Panda Cat. The Athena will be coming in on the Ulur as well. This was really just as a disengage there. Uh, I think we were the Athena was kind of like, okay, you're going to go in, right? And he was like, <laughs> yeah, totally. All right, I got scared. Yeah, a uh, good stun and a good jump in would have secured a lot of damage with that combination, but got to be a little bit careful with it. 
Well, this is the first time throughout relegations today that we have actually seen Bologna. She's been banned every single game, and for good reason, too, because not only is she really, really strong in the solo lane, but as we found out at the spring finals, she is devastating in the jungle as well. So when you pick her up in the first pit, in, in the first phase, you don't know if she's going to be a soul laner or a jungler, and that adds for a lot of mental games you don't want to deal with. That ambiguity is so, so strong. So is the Woo! ultimate coming out from Thor. Teams drop the Gold Fury. It's all about the fight right now. Isis ultimate has been down. The full wing gun does good. come out. There's the ultimate from Clow with the help of the cat. That'll claim a life. Nevin gets one. So does Clow. This fight is going... How? Stories in the way of Team Return. How did this happen? Eagles Rally hits as well. That's going to be four dead. The only one left alive is going to be Pain to be wow. on. That is insane. They had a perfect initiation. Everything was going according yep. to plan. And then Return said, wait, we got we got Poseidon, man. Throw that Kraken down. Fully stacked Doom Orb here. Gold Fury is going to go at 14 minutes as you're going to see Bologna just hack this. away in the mid lane. I love this. I, lo I talk so much about this this stuff after the stuff nonsense. They got three stuffs after the stuff, Scott. They got Cold Fury, Mid Tower, and Duo Lane Tower. That is how you look towards objectives. They're going to go ahead and go back on top of that. They've also stolen away the speed buff from Thor. Yeah. That's going to set DJ Pernicus back just a bit. I mean, they're, at this point in the game, I mean, when you look at Thor... He's got the Jotuns. He he has some options after there, but once you finish Jotuns after Power mm -hmm. Boots as Thor and you get that next speed buff, you are everywhere. Everything just instantly starts to just destroy your opposition. And not for nothing. I mean, I've played the jungle, you've played in the jungle, and I've spoken to many pro junglers. Nobody wants their speed buff taken. No, no, that no, no. That no, is no. going to piss you off. And there, there's, there's this sort of over-talked-about note about DJ Pernicus being emotional, and there is a certain level of truth there. And you know that's gonna, that's gonna impact the game as small as it may be. Uh, you're down right now. There is a almost ten thousand gold differential, twelve thousand experience differential, and we're just fifteen minutes in the game. It's ten to three with the kills, and it's just absolutely going the way of Team Return in so many different ways. Well, we're gonna see him push up the taunts gonna hit as well they're on one they're gonna follow it up on dying love's gonna they're hit on it allows them to get the hammer out as well spirit ball's gonna hit as well now we're gonna see him Ouch. just run away but look at the Bologna still healthy here that's with no defense eagles rally's gonna be good and now still pushing they oh my god Geb shield kept him alive Geb shield is absolutely <sighs> on point the support coming out from pain to beyond that is definitely a veteran of the scene knowing what he's doing but here's Webin trying to take the tower for his friends, but his friends don't want to follow up, so they're going to play a little safe. Cloud will stay here and just sort of clear the wave. Yeah, meanwhile, in the mid, I mean, we saw Uller actually get uh, a little bit of pressure here yep. on the Tier 2 as Athena is going to go ahead and dash away. Payne Divion's going to see that one, try to get some wards down here as now we will see the battle kind of change. It went from a Tier 2 siege into a, all right, let's bring it back, guys. We got a little <laughs> bit low. Let's not worry about this. Yeah, too many other things to really worry about for uh, Legion at the moment. Definitely not the game that they wanted coming into it. Wow. This is a lot on two wow. right here. Immediately decimated is DJ Pernigus and does the effort. They already have forced out the life. ultimate as well. They already forced out that. The Kraken's going to hit as well. You're going to watch him just keep pushing forward. Wow. Eagles Rally's going to be on the backside as well. Uller gets one. Still pushing forward there. That's going to be that's going to be Bastet as well. Uller's going to hit. This is a tough that one, is Scott. A, oh. Not surprised. Okay. No. Just not yeah, surprised yeah, yeah, in the yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Hey, this is this is exactly what I almost yeah. expected. Yeah. Right? No. I mean, that early Gold Fury. I mean, you're... you're